Samira. Hi, Julia. Thanks for coming in for craniosacral therapy. How can I support you today? Well, I was really hoping to just kind of calm down my nervous system. There's been quite a few stressful things happening in my life. Which has been leading to some anxiety and restlessness. So I'd love to just calm down and kind of help with focusing on school because I do have exams coming up next week. So that would be really helpful. Okay, I can definitely support you with that. So just to tell you a bit about craniosacral therapy. What I'll do is I'll assess the rhythm of your cerebrospinal fluid throughout your body and look for any restrictions to the flow. And then I will implement gentle techniques to release these restrictions in the connective tissue around your brain and your spinal cord. Mm. And this process activates the parasympathetic nervous system and induces a state of relaxation and deep healing. So while I do this, some things you may experience could be a change in breathing pattern, gurgling of your stomach, you might yawn or twitch, um, you might fall asleep, and all of that is normal. So first, I'm going to start with a little bit of essential oil. off with the singing bowl. for the rhythm.
through one more time and do something called a still point technique at a couple of those points. lift your right hip up. I'm going to put my right hand under your sacrum. Okay, good. My left hand goes under the occiput. Good. And then I'm just going to do something called the dural tube glide. So I'm going to just assess for restrictions in the dural tube and around the spinal nerves. And then release those. of the techniques are in the head, okay?
I need to actually 
actually put my finger right here on your ear. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm just checking the rotation of the speed. next one I'm gonna be pulling on your ears so just let me know if it's uncomfortable okay
end of the treatment. Thanks for letting me give cranial sacral to you. <sighs> Thank you so much, Julia. <laughs> that felt so nice. Okay. Feeling really relaxed and just feel like I've processed a lot, like energetically. Wow. If that makes sense. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. I'd love to like learn a little bit more about what the process actually involved. Like what were you sensing and how did you rebalance the restrictions? Yeah, so um, what I sense at different parts of the body is the rhythm. And so sometimes one side has a little bit more of an amplitude than the other, oh. or one side might be slower than the other. Oh. So I sensed um, on the right side of your body a little bit stronger of an amplitude. Um, so I would actually focus a little bit more of my attention and energy on the left side of your body just to increase the amplitude to match it. Um, as you, so on the sacrum and occiput glide, um, I feel for restrictions in the glide and by pumping, you kind of do like a little bit of a pump at the end of the rhythm mm. um, on either side to just increase the amplitude there. Mm. And um, I will say it's a, it's really gentle, um, like five grams of pressure. So for you, you might not really feel the, mo the movements very strongly. I did feel them. You did feel them a little bit? Okay. And then here, um, checking similarly for um, like the, the way the cranium bones are moving out and in mm. and if there's any difference on either side and then applying something called the still point technique it actually stops the flow of the fluid temporarily mm. and then you hold it there until it comes back and it often self-corrects some of the restrictions there. It's kind of like a reset. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. And so, which bones were you were you assessing every? So yeah, I was assessing the frontal bone here, parietal bone here, and then um, with the ears, you are manipulating the tentorium which is some of the fascia in the brain yeah. and um, it ends up impacting the movement of the sphenoid bone which oh. I assess when I had my fingers in your ears oh. yeah so interesting and then the occipital bone oh yeah in the back yeah. yep and then the occipital bone and the temporal bone over here too when I did the sphenoid I didn't realize you could actually feel like amplitudes of pulsation of the bones. Yeah, it's more that the bones, right, the bones move so slightly with the pulsations of the cerebrospinal fluid and it's, it's more subtle than like your pulse or your respiratory rate mm. and it often goes at about um, it can range, it can be a range, but maybe a six second interval to a ten second interval. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm glad you felt yeah. relaxed. I really did. <laughs> now I want to learn this. You should learn it. You'll be good at it. <laughs> oh, I feel really good. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>